Hi there and welcome to my video on fitting a dog guard to my MG ZS EV. So we've just adopted a second rescue dog so our first dog we normally had in the back seat clipped into one of the seat belts um, and kept her there rather than in the boot but now we've got two dogs we're going to be putting them in the boot so I've just bought a uh, dog guard uh, universal one so we're going to fit that and uh, see what it looks like. So this is the guard that we've gone for it's the Sakura headrest dog guard I supposedly they don't need any tools to fit it universal fit adjustable between 106 and 145 centimeters so we'll open it up and uh, take a look and see what it's like so in the box there was this centerpiece here you've got two adjustable uh, side pieces that go on the bars to hold that in place that you can adjust it and then various fixes and fixtures and uh, fittings there as well and also some instructions so what i'll do is i'll piece it together and then uh, take it to the car and get it fitted okay so first thing i'm actually going to do is fit these which are headrest harnesses so they just go on the headrest and then you can attach them to your dog's um, harness just so they don't uh, kind of get thrown about in the boot under any harsh braking or in the event of an accident so these literally just unclip and then just go around the, the headrest here they are adjustable as well so you can tighten them up depending on how big your dog is and uh, how much freedom you want to have when you're in the boot So then the next thing is to sort out this um, middle piece. So this first bit will just go uh, around about there, I would say. And then uh, you've basically got to clip these uprights on with the holes at the bottom. Uh, once lined up with the headrest, so that one will go on. And maybe move it about there, so one on there, and then one on that one there, and then they can fix onto each of the, uh, the headrest arms. So they should just push in and click. They're not quite stiff to uh, Right. So there we go, that's those on there now. So they should fit like that. So the next bits are to fit these side ones on using these clips. So you know, it should just clip on there and then clip onto the, the centre mesh as well. So I'll get those fitted on. So there you go, I've just clipped those on using those clips just there. You do get eight in the pack, but I've only used two on each side. It does seem pretty secure uh, on, on both sides, so you can put extra clips on there if you want to, but I, I think that's sturdy enough as it is. So the next bit is to fit the um, parts that hook onto the headrest. There's a bolt that goes through that little uh, knob there, a cap on it as well, and then you can just tighten that once you get it on the headrest. There's three different size bolts. I'm going to try the shortest one um, to start with. The uh, guard seems pretty close to the headrest, so we'll try the shortest one first and see what that looks like. So that's those fitted on there. I've gone for the top hole on this upright, so we'll hook that onto the headrest and tighten it up. Okay, so that's those tightened up, seems fairly secure and uh, fairly quick and easy to do. So just having a look how it fits, it is a universal one. I think it probably would fit an estate better than uh, an SUV or maybe a bigger SUV than the, uh, the ZS. But as you can see I can't move this any further along so there is a little bit of a gap but uh, nowhere near big enough for a dog 
to get through and then between kind of the roof and the uh, the top of the guard it is uh, a little gap there but again there's no way a dog would get uh, would get through there I'll say securely fitted to the headrest there so as you can see just clipped on or hooked onto the headrest and then that turns to tighten but that is pretty solid and then we've got our tethers um, for the dogs when they're in the boot similar that side just catches on on this bit so you can't take it right up to this this side panel so you get a little bit of a gap but then possibly one of the advantages you know if you wanted to give them a little treat or something or a little stroke if they were getting a bit stressed if someone was in the back they could just reach through that little hole and uh, and give them a stroke but overall i think it will do the job pretty sturdy um seems to be fairly well made uh in terms of its strength um i'd say i've only done the clip top and bottom uh there i haven't used all all eight of those clips but i don't think i would benefit any more from uh adding an extra extra four clips to that so uh yeah, it doesn't look too bad. So just give you a quick view from the inside, as you can see that little gap just around the side and the top, but uh, all in all, uh, not a bad fit at all. And uh, fairly sturdy and uh, as I say, should do the job. So thanks for watching. Hope you found that video useful, particularly if you've got dogs and you're looking for a particular dog guard. Uh, it certainly seems to be uh, okay for, for what we need to use it for. Hit that like button as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos.